Hello there and welcome to Tech Explained. This is where we explain tech words in really simple ways. So, a disclaimer. This video series aims to create a basic understanding of a concept in the most generalist way. Your experience may differ from that of which has been described in the video, and that is perfectly okay. So in the video today, we're going to be learning about Software Development Lifecycle, or SDLC. And no, you didn't just hear that. This is not going to be a video on ACDC. So what do we mean when we look at SDLC? This stands for Software Development Lifecycle. And this is specifically focused on the development phase of the software. So the software development lifecycle focuses on ideation, design through to creation, the maintenance and updating of software. So let's just take a brief look at the stages in the software development lifecycle. So these will vary depending on which essentially methodology you use. And we will be doing a video on the word methodology, so check that out. Um, but really, I've tried to include core principles that are really included in, in many different methodologies. So you've got the stage of ideation and planning that can be classed as sticky notes on a wall, pen to paper, whatever that ends up being. There's really requirements and business analysis. This is when really we're looking at the purpose or the why as to why we're actually doing what we're doing. Then there's the design. We can actually take those requirements, take those constraints and actually look at creating a design that meets them. Then it's about making, it's hands on keyboards, it's actually going in and actually building what we've just designed. Then importantly, there's actually the test stage as well. Now, yes, things can be automated, but again, we're not going into that kind of depth here in this video. It's about testing what you've just made. And then we have release. This is when we take really traditionally the work that we've done in a development environment and move it from development to another environment. This doesn't necessarily have to be deploying it into production or the real world for, for real use. It could simply be just moving it from one environment to another in a release manner. So there's a couple of different methodologies. And like I said, we're going to be doing another video on methodology. Uh, but really two of the core ones in software development are Waterfall and Agile and Scrum. So as an action, really go ahead and research those. So this actually says research agile processes, but you can also go ahead and look at waterfall as well. So really, again, go ahead and use your favorite search engine and just go ahead and look at what do you, what are agile processes? How do they differ from what we just described in the video in that very high level way? And what principles did we cover in the video that really, how is that represented in agile, for example? That's your homework for today.